Hey guys, welcome back to Darksiders 3. So, since the last episode, uh, as you can see, my souls are, like, out there. Uh, the reason is that I actually, I was being an idiot and I was not paying attention. And I actually managed to get myself killed. So, I had to make my way back here, which was, believe me, not easy, <laughs> to say the least. Because this area is, like, really confusing. Sometimes... Like, this is the exact type of area I would love to have a map in, but you know, this game, it don't do maps, this game. Oh shit. Okay. Are we gonna have a puzzle? Hold on. It was such a good idea. By me. Um, at least it sounded good in my head, or it... Yeah. Whatever. I think we're gonna have to go and take a dive and see what's underwater. Yep. Kinda had a feeling that there is some secret shit going on here. The only question now is if this is just something that leads to treasure, which it might very well do. Alright. Or if this is actually the path. Because the problem arises when... Or if this is not the path, but this is the path. Uh, oh, okay. I think I'm a little bit... I'm overthinking things here. There we go. How easy was that? Her doors opening. I'm assuming back down there is where they were. Oh, the big door opened. Nice. See, this this is bugging me. There's no switch. Maybe it's something that you loop around to. Could be. Did you go through there. Alright, let's move forward. I am really hoping, like... This has to be the path to the next boss, right? There's no way this isn't the path to the next boss. If it is, I'm gonna be pissed. Or I mean, if it isn't, I'm gonna be pissed. I don't think so, bitch. Oh, projectiles, wonderful. Are you fucking kidding me? These enemies are stupid. Alright, that was a little bit too DSP-ish. Uh, I, I do apologize. I'm not gonna be able to, yeah, I'll find my way back. Now I know the path, but it's just like, it's very, very lengthy. Like, yeah, I love the enemies where you can barely see their attacks coming. It's all good. No need to get salty. There you go. So it's this way, basically. I'm gonna just like ignore every single enemy that could be in my path. See, but this is the thing, like, look at the counter. It's like, <clears throat> it's pointing in the exact opposite direction. Why couldn't they have a map? Darksiders 1 had a map. I mean, Darksiders 2 had a map. It needed a map, to be frank, that game. That game was insanely large, the game world. Alright, load. Load and reload. According to people, the worst Metallica albums. I don't mind them, to be honest. Which might lead to me being crucified here, but... They're okay. I mean... I'm not, like, blown away by them, but still... Okay. That was satisfying. I mean, look at this enemy. There you go. Fuck you. Get chopped up, bitch. That was a little bit overkill. 
So it makes sense that most of the uh, puzzles we encounter would be flame hollow based because I think... Oh shit, finally. I think you're meant to come here a Fuck, I can't even speak. A little earlier. That came out really weird. How I said it. <clears throat> Anyways, can't level up. Healing shard wise, I'm actually doing okay. So yeah, I think we're gonna... Oh. Hello, person. Stay cool. You're all good now. Sliver of adamantine. But this means that this is not the way to go, because there's another hole. Man, they really like these sneak through the whole things. You know what this reminds me of? I know the game is completely different, but it reminds me of the part in Metroid Zero Mission. After you crash, you get shot down, and you have to go through the pirate ship, and like Samus is in the Zero suit. That is an awesome game. I love that game. Zero Mission and Fusion were the two Game Boy Classics, Game Boy Advance Classics that I loved, especially Fusion. I mean, Fusion was my first GBA game. And that shit is... That is a doink game. That is a doink game. Wait, did I just get some type of, like, buff item? I think I just did. Mallet of Scorn. No, I thought I did. Whatever. It don't matter. I got an Undying Shard. Oh yeah, I had that confused. That's the thing that makes you... Uh, oh, you can't heal here. That's the thing that makes you... Uh, not die. What up? Oh, the Willem scream. That's pretty cool. Shout out to that. How did that thing even become so popular? There's probably a video on YouTube that explains it. Oh, nice. This is, this is a nice looking area. Can you die? Thank you. You know what? I need to upgrade this thing because it's doing pretty pathetic damage. What up, flies? Get fucked. Yeah, that's really nice looking. I love the angle. Reminds me of something that would be in like Bioshock Infinite, you know? I did had like kind of crooked buildings sometimes. That is such a good game as well, Bioshock Infinite. I do wish, you know, there are some videos, like leaked stuff of what they were originally intending for the game. And honestly, to me it looked better, the original idea. Oh, okay, just do an instant attack. What the hell is it doing? This hammer is so satisfying, I just need to upgrade it. Yeah, that big ass spider monster was not the... Not the most challenging enemy, but again, maybe I am... A little bit too late for this area but yeah again if there are some videos on what infinite was intended to be like one thing i wish for i would have wished for that game is that they focused a little bit less on the sci-fi aspect you know like the bastards never stood a chance did they who earthlings of any species oh yeah. It's kind of the thing, ain't it? 
So yeah, again, like I think originally it was more focused on um, what you call it, the like politics. Of course, we're not alone. There's like fucking spiders everywhere. There's like a New York ass train, you know. That's the C train. Yup. Thank you, targeting system. For being a bro. Why do these enemies deal so much damage? I, no comprende. I don't get it. I'm guessing the flame hollow gives us the most light. Well, this one. This one looks cool as well. Different atmosphere, you know. I like this purplish hue. I'd like a Volgrim checkpoint even more. So that I could upgrade my hammer. The hammer of dawn, you know. This has to be it, right? I know I keep saying it and I'm keep like constantly doubting myself, but this has to be it. It's shit. Yeah, it's like imp I don't think it's like really possible to get a charge attack out with this hammer. It's gonna be very, very difficult. Thank you. What would you ask of this We're gonna serpent hole. Back to the Maker's Forge, and we're gonna upgrade the shit out of this weapon. Well, as much as we can, of course. Sorry, I had to move my mic there, you know. It's just a thing. Sometimes you gotta do it. I think I've been picking up plenty of slivers of adamantine, so... Upgrading it should not be too much of an issue. Because it's kind of weird when the giant, like, great hammer is doing less damage than the dual, um, you know, flails or whatever those things are. Weapon upgrades, what up, bro? I'm liking raw power. This metal harnesses the faith and appreciation of rescued humans, converting it to raw energy. I am liking the sound of that. Our melee of scorn. Such a weird word, melee. Interesting, interesting. All right, I think we have some slotting to do into weapons. Let's use the lance. Wait, no. Or wait, is that thing he just gave me was like was it just like automatic? Automatic increase in power because I'll take that for sure. All right, let's go back. Tangled Grotto. I want another boss fight at this point. We've... Well, it's been a while. I mean, Lust was fun. I really liked that whole kind of interaction. Second phase was kind of a pain, but not the worst in the end. Alright. But I'm thinking we, before that we have an entire new area to get through, probably. What up? That's like impossible to react. I'm not getting hit by that because I'm an asshole.
Enemies have to do some type of scaling in this game. There's no way they don't. I wonder how much we can, like... Well, he seemed unaffected by that. Come on. Getting hit by these, like, puny ass enemies is the worst. Eat shit. Damn, this is... Upgrading the hammer was... A pretty good idea. These things look gross. Yeah, there's gonna be some weird shit here. One thing I still don't know is what the hell do you do with this? Huh. I'm guessing once we go to an area where I'm not like... Because again, I'm supposed to be probably here earlier. Once I actually move on to a proper new area, we'll find out what to do with that. Can't believe I'm not getting counter hits. They feel like counter hits, but apparently the game doesn't seem to think so. This is what the these enemies. Thank you. All right. I do not like that enemy. I'm just gonna... Rejuvenation core. What the fuck does this do? Gonna have to, like, check it out. See, now... Is this the main path or is this the side path? This is the side path. Because there is a... Dude slash do that here. Alright, chill out. We got you. Alright. Looks like when you die in Fortnite, you get like sucked out. Not like that sucked out, but you know. You get like absorbed. Wait, no, that that doesn't sound too much better. Oh yeah, that little trinket is just like hanging on our side. That is just gonna like give us raw power, which I very much appreciate. Is that us? Could be, kind of. Obligatory sub subway station level, you know. Gotta have that. What is this? Boring cars last forever. That they certainly do. L, J, E, and 7 trains. Uh, I don't know which stop that could be. They used to take the E train. And for a while the L train as well. I took the L. I think even by the dialogue it's kind of obvious that we're meant to come here. Earlier, because there's like less character development between them, less camaraderie. Sure they scream, Be sure to do that with this big ass hammer. There he is, man. That was a. That was quite the reach around, as I said previously, which you know, not like that. <laughs> nice. Fury. Oh. I'm liking what this guy is about, I'm gonna be honest with you. 
He's my type of guy. We we agree on a lot of things. It's like Jabba the Hutt, but the insect version. I think I'll join. Would you abandon your mission? No. No. <laughs> Is that so? The great Fury would not allow herself to fall prey to such a creature. Are you truly up to the task? We'll smash this big ass bug in. Alright. Sloth, Lord of the Flies. These are not flies, bro. These are beetles. Alright. So far. Oh, shit. Well, that was a. Uh, that was quite the event. Quite a set of events. I should lock on. And the question is, what is it gonna? Is it gonna lock onto the main boss, or we'll see? He just like kind of swats around. I'm guessing we gotta destroy his throne. Probably do it three times if we go by Mario logic, or any kind of platformer logic, really. Come on, game. Thank you. Uh, okay, try not to get lost. It would be real embarrassing. And I did get lost. Fuck. Because that feels like the main path. You know, because this one is like a narrow-ass corner and the other one's not. Okay. Bro, I would really appreciate if you, like, didn't lag. Because right now it'd be lagging a little bit. Right, give me my body back, yeah. Oh, that was quick. He has wings as well. Damn, he's gross. Fuck! Are you kidding me? <laughs> what the hell? I'm... Okay, I'm not being an idiot. I am pressing the dodge button, but... There's like... You have to be like very early in this game. You can't like react to shit, really. What the hell is that light outside my window? Oh. Someone pulled in. Opposite. Not that you'd see that. Obviously. In the face cam type gamer. I always thought that face cams were stupid in a non live stream situation. I, th I think at least they are because live stream is different because you're having an interaction with your chat, you know. So it's like, I don't know, it's different. I cannot, I cannot, I physically cannot dodge him. Please tell me you can skip this. No, you can't. Okay. Cool story, bruh.
Let's see what this does. Oh, he does the Asylum Demon stuff. Nice. Alright. Takes a while to get into, you know. Oh, he has a butt slam that... Alright, cool, cool. Liking it so far. Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe the hammer is not the best weapon. I kind of thought he'd probably have some type of back attack, but the fact that he two-shots me is very concerning. Because did you see how much damage I dealt to him? It was not a lot. Let's try the old classic, the Flame Hollow. I mean, let me just try something. If I want to be really cheap. Can I just like... It's not cheating, it's an exploit, boys. I mean, if you have the weapon, you know. Why not use it? Oh, you can spawn more. Wonderful. And I'm nearly dead. I haven't even done anything. To him, at least. Oh, where did all of you come from? Hold on. Still cool. Stay cool, I mean. Not still cool. Although I am still cool, but stay cool. I cannot believe... Okay, please tell me you can skip. No. I keep... Sorry, I keep pressing the start button. I don't know why. Gonna have to heal right away. This boss is ex extremely annoying. And I'm out of heals. Cool. Okay, we have to get him out of that corner, yeah, yeah. We're gonna stand a chance. I mean, I, I guess he's fat, so it makes sense that he has a lot of HP. That seems to do a lot of damage, actually. Yeah. I still have fucking Havoc form as well. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't think I had the dodge. Uh, Havoc form. Thank you. I was like, bruh. Am I finally going to be able to kill one of these guys with Havoc form? That is so much HP. Please. Did he just... Oh, he almost pushed me off. I was about to say as well, if this motherfucker pushes me off... You must be so fulfilled. What change do you think killing me will enact on this sad crusade? <laughs> Are you begging? Muster up a little dignity. Sweetheart, I let slaves wipe my ass with the wings of angels while I enjoy a morning tea. Dignity is a myth. Like the balance you fight for. 
Still liked what this boss is about. This fool's getting absorbed. Why do I have a feeling? And this is something I wanted to say. Why do I have a feeling that at the end of the game we're gonna have to fight all of them in a gaunt in a gauntlet style setup? That's gonna be a real pain. Cool. Alright. There's only one question. That question is... Who is next? Who's even left? There's... Uh, greed for sure. I don't think we... No, we had greed. Fuck. What's the other one? Uh, gluttony. That's the one. I haven't had gluttony so far. Uh oh. Oh, shortcut. Nice touch. It's not the most stable one, but hey, we'll take it. It's pointing that way, but we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here. I know this is a shorter one, but hey, and this was actually kind of like a nice little compact episode. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Darksiders 3. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.